Hello my friends, welcome back to the Overt Cops mod. Today we're going to be taking a look at Night Terrors, which of course is one of those missions that is actually not that easy. So I'm excited to see what tools we're going to have available in order to defend the fairly overwhelming number of infested. Usually this is where we get the Liberator. Liberator is one of the strongest units. It's insane. So uh, hopefully we have things that can compare to that. So what do we got? We have a new ability, Lockdown, stun a mechanical unit for 30 seconds. That's uh, obviously very good. Not really on the infested mission, though. There are Taldrim here, but I feel like this is not where we necessarily want this. Hmm. I don't know. I feel like I never make that much good use of these guys' casting abilities. I might just reduce the build time. Increases the operative's maximum and starting energy by 100. Energy regeneration by 100%. Allows the operative to cloak. Well, uh... I, maybe we should focus on using their abilities then. I don't know. Neither of these, none of these seem that good against the infinite hordes of infested. I'm going to be completely honest. So maybe we just go for, what if we go for a really cheap operative with like one good ability? Uh, the new ability is emergency barrier, absorbs up to 200 damage, last 10 seconds, 120 second cooldown, automatically activates upon taking damage. Yeah, sure. Why not? Uh, then Infernal Flamethrower. Damage 8 plus 11 versus light. Uh, pretty fast attack speed. Short range attacks all ground. Damage targets in a line. Uses vehicle attack. <laughs> Is this just a Hellion attack? That's awesome. And then for the Psy Emitter, we can add movement speed, mutas, and corruptors. I feel like for this mission, Ultra and Queen sounds like the best thing on that. And then for the Herc, we have a new upgrade. Turrets build 10 times faster. Grapple reaches, er, er, recharges in three seconds. Herc move faster. I think we want the... Okay, I have an idea. I have an idea. Winnow mines are permanently cloaked. They already burrow. <laughs> I don't care about that. We're going to get the energy cast for this. Uh, Warhound self-repair, 10 HP per second while out of combat. Uh, sure, why not? Wraiths are permanently cloaked and dodge 20% of incoming attacks. I don't think we're going to be using wraiths here. And predators cost 75, 50, one supply, speed reduced by one and AOE damage reduced by 50%. Yeah, sure, we can grab that. I think what I want to do here, I have a pretty good understanding of how I want to play this mission. And that is with uh, some of the ghosty guys, and then these turret hercs, I think are going to be really good now that I see how they work. Uh, where if we can build turrets, what is, let's just see how fast this is. Obviously this guy's going to time out in a bit. That's, uh, that's insane, isn't it? Like, that speed is incredible. So if we reactor out a bunch of these, the operatives, we use them with their flamethrower deals 24. Let's go, let's go flame something. Use them to protect everything. Oh, we got the Psy emitter off cooldown already. Yeah, this is just a Hellion. This is just a guy with a Hellion gun, which is actually really nice. That is a very good attack to have on infantry that you are, like, actually massing up in an army. Interesting. So I think what we want to do... I forgot about the Psy Emitter, otherwise we, it probably would have been good to have a cloak thing. But what we can do is just try to drop one right here and see if the Zerg clear the stuff out for me. That would be really cool. So I guess uh, the infantry thing is... These are the, yeah, these are the Psy emitted Zerg. So are they just going to go around and clear everything for me? I think that they are. That's wonderful. Wait. Oh, okay. The, the infested are hostile. I thought for a moment that that siege tank just didn't fire. <laughs> I was like, it's just going to destroy everything. That would be amazing. But no, it does appear to be somewhat fair. Let's uh get that. And then I guess we want vehicle upgrades because our guy now uses them drop these and get two of these so i was thinking about the turrets and the turrets seem like they're going to be very very where are you guys going <laughs> you're supposed to go over here <laughs> like clearing the top for me i'm not going to complain it's a nice place to have cleared but it feels very funny uh the turrets we should just be able to bank up a bunch of money spam a decent number of turrets and crush everything unless i'm crazy yeah, these guys, they're decent, but lacking in any sort of bio unit healing is actually a little bit annoying. If we had a medic or something, they'd be pretty good. We're going to get some Widowmines as well. The Widowmines, probably like four here, three here. And due to the way that they work, 
which is, of course, they, uh, with this upgrade, they have 200 energy. They have no cooldown on the shot, but the shot takes time to, or rather, it takes energy, 25 energy per. The big waves of enemies that come very rarely should get annihilated on this mission. And then we won't really have to think about defense. I like these, though. Man, yeah, if, uh, if I built this better, maybe if we ever get an upgrade that allows us to build these guys with, um, the shield thing seems like it'd be really cool with, the, I guess we got the shield thing, but, like, if we could get a shield thing and maybe a way to heal, then they'll be really, really tanky flamethrower guys, and they seem to have a decent range, too. Like, this is way, way better than the way that the firebat attacks, for instance. Are they still alive? All right. Um, what's going on, game? Why are the Feral Zerg <laughs> just playing the mission for me? That's insanity. Oh, I'm still setting things up. Let's start clearing to the middle, I guess. And be prepared for that. Yeah, what are we going to get? Usually you can build Hercs on this mission. But we can already build Hercs, so what is... What is it going to be as a little bonus for us? I'm really liking the look of our defense. Dude, they're still going! <laughs> mercenaries, okay. Uh, I, I'm going to keep the devil dogs, but I'm not going to use the mercenaries, I think, besides that, because that's just not what we're here for, right? I, we can use mercenaries in any Wings of Liberty playthrough. Instead, we're going to have to get a couple guys, and then we're going to go defend this area. I mean, okay, so the clearing on this mission is not the most important thing. I will be completely honest about that. It's not tough. It is really nice just having an ally that manages to deal with a bunch of the nuisance for me. Because there's usually a bunch of burrowed stuff, too, on this mission. And, um... If we don't have to deal with, or we only have to deal with one of the two problems, that's really cool. I'm going to try just putting the next one over here. I don't know if it makes a new group, but if, uh, if, yeah, if these pharaohs are, oh, they're not going to get down there in time, are they? Yeah, we're going to have to clear this out on our own. Oh. Missile turret. Missile turret. <laughs> that's pretty cool. Can we just come on over here? And, okay, we might need to missile turret. Oh. Uh, we don't have much anti-air besides these missile turrets now that I look at it. We gotta get over there real quick. Here, you guys, take this down. Zealots get annihilated. The raids are actually doing pretty nicely. Thank you, raids. And then, I guess we're over here, so we might as well start the thing to get these guys to... Leave us alone. Just, what if we just sit here? And then the uh, Feral Zerg are going to defend that side for us. Nova, the extraction process is drawing the device. What is this? Auto turret. Okay. Oh, no. Well, I was hoping that wouldn't happen. Not at the end of the world, though. Oh, no. These guys figured out how to come over here. They're wild. They're uncontainable. <laughs> um So we also don't have the ability to beat an ultralisk. Can we can we get out of here? Are they will they attack this? Will they just do it for us? Is this a real big problem? <laughs> Is this exactly what we should have expected to happen with uh, Siamitters, and this is actually just a lesson that using them is a terrible idea, and we should have known that? Is there a meta-commentary going on here? Because that's what it kind of feels like. <laughs> They're really strong. <laughs> They're way stronger than, like, anything else we have going on. They're gonna successfully do- oh gosh, they've merged up. Yeah, that's gonna be fine, I think. Cool. Two, one, done. Alrighty. <laughs> I can't believe how weird that just ended up being. But you know what? Sure, I'll take it. 
We did lose these guys, unfortunately. Let's get a one of these. Not built being able to build like most static defenses is definitely an interesting limitation on this faction. Right? Like normally we could staff some bunkers with some really good stuff here, but I don't really have a good setup of things to staff, so we're gonna have to get some of the flamethrower guys. We're gonna have to work with what we got. And hopefully that'll be okay. Hopefully we don't get hit by air. Do we want to build raids? I'm not sure. Well, let's see how good these are right now. The instant cast widow mines. This is kind of exactly what I was thinking of in terms of base defense. Like they did exactly that. The attacks are so infrequent on this mission that I think it's never going to be a big issue that they uh, use all their energy. Save them. Oh gosh, we just uh, do not do a lot of damage without our turrets. So we're going to get a lot more Hercs. We're going to keep fortifying this area. We get you in there just because you don't have much HP. And so in this meta commentary about how Psyamitters work and they're a terrible idea that only leads to your own destruction, I'm going to keep using them because they're cool. <laughs> if... If this sounds like a bad idea, it's because it probably is. Okay. So I feel like this whole area has been cleared out quite a bit. So let's try to use the Psy emitter to stop Janara. Oh, there is some burrowed stuff, yeah. Whoa, there's a lot of burrowed stuff. Get out of there. Oh, uh, well then. Oh, they're going the wrong way. Darn. Let's uh start building some war hounds in addition to everything that we got going on. I think that we need a little bit of consistency in our life. Because these are in 48 damage. All right. Sure. And we just do no damage to them. Well, get him. We have the barrier at least. And Janara got. Okay, the Zerg are just stronger than the Protoss and the Terran. <laughs> this is. This is just. Terrible, terrible matchup for us. Okay, they're attacking that, but no, the Feral Zerg crushed through. It wasn't even close. I don't know why. I'm going, Warhounds, because I need help. So, get some of these auto gases. Gonna get these for defense, and then we go this way. We're gonna try our best with enough turrets. Anything is no. Why'd you go this way? Why are there so many heavily armored people? Get over here. Help out. Uh, perdition. Here, tank for us. Thank you. Oh, change targets, but that's fine. We got it. And start the Warhound production. They do have the HP regeneration too, so they'll be they'll be in really good shape. We're just gonna rally some guys over here. Burn through all of this. Thankfully, most of it already died. And what we can do is, of course, the enemies last not as long as these turrets do. I'm detecting more infested heading towards your position. Don't you ever have good news? And a couple of these. Oh gosh, they build this so fast. This is awesome. This is what I'm looking for. And the auto or the mines seem to be doing a great job. Bring it. I think we got this. I think that we're in a really good shape now. How much damage do you do? Ten damage. They do get uh Armory upgrades, it seems, which is great. I, some plans are still in the I don't want them to go too far out. I'll check it out. Keep that going. And then we're going to have a couple guys just chill right there for repairs. And yeah, this is, this is really nice. The Perditions, pop-up Perditions that are really cheap. Very, very good addition to our toolkit. They're not just a Perdition, they're an addition. 
The only thing I'm scared about now are those aberrations, which is why I'm getting the Warhounds. <laughs> they don't do bonus damage to them, but they do a good amount of damage. Nice. That went great. Oh, Chinara's on the way. Oh, no! Guys! I kind of hoped you would go this way. Well... Uh, Widowmine, save me! <laughs> this area is doing amazingly. <laughs> oh, I said a rally on accident. Thank you, Widowmines. Okay, then Jannar is coming to our base, which we should be able to deal with via the Warhounds. Uh, they don't have the Haywire missiles, I forgot. That's not a default ability. However, the damage is really good. I am excited to try out the sniper version of these. They're going to be very interesting. Okay, uh, do I have a Herc? Yeah, I do. I can go turret, turret, turret. It's not even expensive to set all these up. It's so cheap. Oh, Janara's coming again. So, with how strong these guys are, can we just kill Gennaro with the Feral Zerg? Because it kind of feels like we're getting to that point. It might be worth a shot. So, uh, come on over here. We're going to have to get the bonus objectives, of course. But I think we're getting to a point where we have a good momentum. We have a lot of stuff. This mission can just be tough at the beginning, particularly without a Nova to help out. Go get them, small group of guys. Yeah, being able to invest just 200 minerals to destroy anything in the air is amazing. Why do they even have three plating? I guess they have building armor, and then th when I get vehicle stuff, they get the vehicle upgrades as well? That's, uh, that's pretty good. And then the Perditions just have a lot of HP. Love it. Now we should, yeah, not have an issue with the aberrations. The turrets are almost like our healing. And let's see, uh, I would like to get a side disruptor over here and a side disruptor over there. Cool, cool, cool. Everything's feeling good and we'll be able to do the bonus objective in a minute. I definitely changed, but we could get some of these one supply predators. We have a lot of factories. This is fine. I don't know if they're going to be good, but they're definitely worth a shot just to look at. Oh, these accidentally spawn camped the Banshees. That's not what I intended for them to do, but I'll take it. Also, it does appear that the Psy emitter was not successful in its venture. Who would have guessed that you can't kill the main antagonist with like four... Hydralisks, two queens, and an ultra. Go back. Uh, more predators. A lot of these guys. Perfect, perfect. And I wonder what we bring into there for the bonus fight. Because we don't really have uh, great tools, but we'll see. I don't have Nova. Wind of destruction. Take command of my forces until I'm <laughs> Okay. Of course. We got a s wow. I mean, okay, those guys had like no HP. How do we start the boss fight? Adjusting for new coordinates. Do I do I not? Huh? Oh, okay, we did it. <laughs> I couldn't figure it out. <laughs> I bopped him. It seems like Cyclone is a very good unit for this boss fight. Definitely the easy way to do this. If I get hit besides that little bonk, I'm going to be very disappointed with myself. I'll have to have been effectively AFK because this is ridiculous. Oh, well, you know what? I managed it. 
Turns out that going into random hallways is not necessarily the safest thing that I could have been doing. But nothing will stop me. He doesn't do that much damage. <laughs> it's always funny seeing these fights when you don't have, like, Apollo Infantry Suit Nova, who just holds down the snipe button and instantly kills out. Oh, baby. Is that an eradicator? Jimmy, I like that. Oh, I guess we're starting this. Let's see. Oh, a couple hive mind emulators, a couple side disruptors. Eradicator seems to not get any upgrades, and that is fine. He's still an eradicator. Here's the Protoss. There they go. How? How did you get there? <laughs> what is your story, mister? <laughs> because that's incredible. I'm so I'm so proud of you. That's actually very impressive that you managed to get over here. Alright, we're gonna take our wish.com predators and bring them on over. Which is uh saying a lot because predators were never good. Basically, you're sacrificing everything in order to get the electric field really cheap. Which is an interesting way to do things. Oh, these are mine. That's like pulling guys back, but, uh... Now the mind control just grabbed them all. Perfect. I bet we could kill the Taldorim base with our army. Like, this is a good army. Is it worth it? Yeah. Predators are slow in this mode. Which is interesting, because... In some ways, it makes them a little bit better. Pull back. Okay. You got nothing. Got a couple turrets. Perfect. Janar has been dealt with. Let's, uh... Let's go try to kill him. There's also a really scary Zerg base up there, but it's not worth it because it's not interesting and they just spawn infinite free units. As opposed to this base, which also sucks and spawns infinite free units. Oh, he's got too long of range. He pulled him. Oh, God. No, this is exactly what I was alluding to. No, the Eradicator! Can't believe it. He died the same way that he lived, pulling far too many enemies and shooting things when he shouldn't have. Well... This is for his memory. You're not a Wrathwalker. No, I don't think so, Rigel. I think that our fight lies exactly right here. I mean, they made voice lines for it, so we might as well do it. Can we talk about how insane these turrets are? They're just missile turrets, but the ability to <laughs> cheaply build them in like a quarter of a second is so insane. Oh, we're going to turret rush Janara. He's going to have such a bad day. I usually this base is actually quite hard. I'm just going to throw that out there. It is not a simple base. And yet we annihilated it for minimal losses. That's crazy. But it turns out, you just keep throwing the turrets down. Look at this! She does no damage! <laughs> Janara's gonna lose to one missile turret! <laughs> she just can't beat it! It's got, it's got the little Healy vent thing! This is so good! Oh, Janara, you are the worst. You're so bad at your job! <laughs> I can't believe it. Okay, well, um, that wasn't even that impressive of a missile turret. Like, it, it's just a missile turret with uh, some attack upgrades and four armor. It's not the most extreme thing in history. Uh, it's just Protoss air units shoot so many times for such low amounts of damage. They really, really feel the pain in situations. Oh, those are the wrong thing. They feel the pain in situations like that. Got it. that way. I gotta be careful on money. Just a little bit. Because this is gone. Back. This is mostly gone. Tech to make it go faster, 
I don't want to be overwhelmed by air units or something in the final area. But uh, having Perdition's camping those is really good. Oh no! <laughs> they got stuck again. They can't beat it. Not overlords. Oh my goodness, are those infested siege tanks? Uh, this is what I was scared of in terms of the air stuff. The turret strategy may have a little bit of an issue from uh, economic standpoint because this mission doesn't give you that many minerals to work with. It gives you a lot of gas because it's a Liberator mission. I think that Nova Covert Ops actually does that quite a few times, just kind of skimp on the mineral income. They like it that way because every Covert Op has uh, a big gas cost. They want to push you away from the Marine spam. Okay, Janara, are you going to clear stuff for me? What do you even have over here? Oh, actually, quite a bit. Actually, go away. Shh. <laughs> you see nothing. How do we beat Tempests? I mean... Okay. Janara, stop. Go away. Yeah, get distracted over there. We're going to go do the bonus and then go do the middle. If we get the Eradicator, he'll have a gun. Another device is in peril. You, uh, I don't care if Janara kills that. It really doesn't matter to me. We're just going to, I guess, get some SCVs to go over there to trigger the event. And then we'll bring a couple of the SCVs over here. Oh, wow, she killed that fast. She warped in a lot of guys. Yeah, we're going to thrash this, though. We probably have to sell these. Put this here. Oh, we don't need gas. It's fine. And we have the Wind of Destruction again. And I like that he actually gets our upgrades. That's pretty cool. So the fact that we've been getting those mech upgrades is working out for us. I wonder if that's the unit that we're going to unlock. I guess it'll probably just be called the Cyclone. It'd be weird if we had the Widow Mine, the Warhound, the Wind of Destruction. Never seen one of those before. Epic. Wait, is there something stuck inside of it? Now this is pod racing. Typhon or Typhoon missile pod racing. Typhon is different. Typhon is the planet the supernova is on. Uh, actually, this is a bit annoying. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, take all this down. Take the ranged guy out. Or I guess we're fighting. Oh, this is definitely annoying. We should have one more burrow? Or he's just gonna be a... Oh, there we go. Careful, careful. Unburrow, please. Oh, gosh. Yep, nope, that's not good. That's really ungood! And yeah, we got it! Easy! Please go away. <laughs> it's fine. It was not an issue. Welcome to this mission, it's never hard. Assignment or attacks now contain three infestors. Um, oh. Do we? I think we do this. Because they're never gonna get to us, right? So they're just gonna help by attacking the enemy from behind. That's my, that's my assumption here. Oh gosh, that is a lot of power though. But yeah, here they are. See, all these infested are now going to fight the guys over there. That's what we want. Ah, oh, we can bring these guys to help. They don't have any jobs anymore. Perfect, perfect. Pull back, pull back. 
Yeah, look at how much these guys are helping. Their ultra died. They only have like one kill apiece. It's not that much. <laughs> but as long as they die and they distract the enemy during it, then we've made a really good choice. So uh, one of the things I'm learning here, I just didn't really think about it before we started, is that I need to make sure that the uh, operative it can hit air. Because <laughs> we just don't have a whole lot of air hitting units. Besides the widow mine. This is going well though. Oh! Land it! Easy. Yes. Twice. <laughs> Where is High Lord Alarak? <laughs> I like how it's like, <laughs> it's like a little helicopter planes and hits the ground. Beautiful. All right, that is going to be the end of that mission. That was a little bit painful, but we got through it. The enthralled Zerg were the strongest thing on the mission, whether they were attacking us or attacking the enemy. A lot of fun. Uh, and yeah, that's going to be it for today. Really good mission. I hope you guys enjoyed. And I, the turret spam was a little bit jank, but also really good when it worked. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you tomorrow. Peace.